This is Apostle Tanya. Most marvelously, we have the blessed honor in this generation to declare our love for our blessed Master. And surely, I am most grateful to serve together with you to exalt our Holy Lord and remindeth the enemy. The earth is thy Lord's and the fullness thereof. Through the revelatory teachings taught by the Spirit of God through me and the most glorious supernatural fun experiences that I have spent in the blessed presence of the Master. I pray that you shall be most encouraged and equipped listening to holy podcasts. <laughs> I am most surely honored to have you a part of the family. The teaching you are about to listen to was taught through me by the dearest Holy Spirit before my miraculous voice change from thy Lord. In the fall of 2020, the Holy Father was most generous to give me a surprise miracle of a new speaking voice. And for a season afterwards, this miraculous speaking voice change continued to be stronger and develop into a sound wherewith I gather was the eternal Lord's original intent. I want to thank you who are new to the ministry for your prayers and for your support. And welcome to all the new family members of the ministry. I want to encourage you to contact us if you are in need of prayer or are led by the Holy Spirit to serve with the ministry. Friends, together, let us exalt our blessed Master and declare His greatness in the earth. Amen. Now let us move on into why did Jesus trust the Holy Spirit to be a comforter also to us? Well, the answer is perhaps what we see in the beginning. In Jesus' earthly ministry, the comforter came upon him in the form of a dove after John the Baptist baptized our Lord. This is recorded in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16. We can see several manifestations in this most glorious account of the baptism of our Lord by John the Baptist. Let us look at those. The blessed Lord's humility, meekness, and the Lord obeying and submitting to the will of his Father in his submission to be baptized by John the Baptist. Isn't that one of the most glorious, glorious accounts in the Bible? I mean, there are so many that you cannot really count. But that baptism of our Lord, it just almost makes me want to weep. How glorious for him to go to John the Baptist. God, 
and say, let us fulfill.